Well, hello. Today we are looking at Proverbs, and we're going to look at Proverbs 30 and 31. And one word stuck out to me in Proverbs 30, the word enough. Listen to this. In verse 15 and 16, it says, There are three things that are never satisfied, four that never say enough question uh, explanation point it has. It's the grave, the barren womb, the land that is never satisfied with water, and fire that never says enough. There's a song that the church has had, well, from uh, Chris Tomlin and Louis Giglio, almost two decades now. But speaking of Jesus, it says, all of you is more than enough for all of me. Every thirst, every need, you satisfy me with your love and all I have in you is more than enough. Yet, we can't forget that only Jesus, that hear me, only Jesus is enough. Why? I think in large part because we are left here today. We are here. You are here. You and I are here for a purpose. And he wants to live through us. And so in that sense, we are giving Jesus and we are never finished. We've never arrived. We've never said, well, I finally have done enough. No, there's always more to do as long as we're here. So today's the day. It says in uh, 31, 8 and 9, it says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the right, the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up. And judge fairly, defend the rights of the poor and needy. See, we do have a purpose. We have an assignment. We, we have a, an obligation and a duty to show Jesus as his people, as his followers. You know, there will be a day <clears throat> when we are finished here and, and our, our physical bodies come to an end and we, there'll be a great leveling. We'll stand before Yahweh himself. And it says in Romans 14, 10, it says, for we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. So while we're here, while we need to be representing and showing the living God, Jesus Christ himself, let us build into our lives rhythms that will, that will help us to honor him, that will help us to, to fill our souls with him. Uh, times alone, times meditating in his word and prayer, reading it, journaling it, praying it. We need that because only all of him in us will be truly enough. God bless you. Let's, let's stop and ask today as we read these words, listen to these words, that we would say, Jesus, you are the one that's enough for me. God bless.